I found these burls in the woods when I was bike riding. They are pine of some sort. I'm stabilizing them with cactus juice in my vacuum chamber. The patio pavers are to keep them from floating away. At this point, they have already been in my toaster oven for about 24 hours at 200 degrees. The idea is to get them bone dry so they accept more resin. The vacuum chamber helps with this as well. It's pretty fun to watch it bubble. So I just used plastic Dixie cups to cast these dragon eggs. Conveniently, they already have a vaguely egg-like shape with a tapered ending. So I just put the whole thing on a lathe and turned away the plastic cup part. I had this bottle of resin for a while, and to be fair to the company, this cap only started failing towards uh, the end of its life. But I thought I'd leave this here so you can be amused by my epic fail. Honestly though, Advil bottles are easier to open. I get a little carried away. Alumilite claims that turning the resin as easy as could be, but I find it pretty tricky. I do have a scraper with a negative rake profile, but it's hard to sharpen and maintain. So I use my bolt gouge here for a while, but then I switch to a carbide tool as progress is slow. Pine is not a good wood to turn. It's really hard on tools. The fact that it's been stabilized can't help much either. The problem with carbide cutters is that you have to be extremely careful. You'll see I press too hard and the tool digs in. And rather than getting a normal catch, the tool just shreds the blank, putting a huge gouge in it. Plus, as an added bonus, it throws razor sharp chunks of resin everywhere. By the way, Easy, to Easy Wood Tools now has a negative rake carbide cutter, and this thing is genius. I don't have to fight with sharpening that tricky profile, and it's pretty much catch proof in resin. If you're lazy like me, I highly recommend it. So after the catch, I have to come back with the pole gouge and clean up my mess. Uh, it's kind of sad because it makes the egg smaller every time you have an accident like that. So the thing I turn most frequently on my lathe is bowls. And doing something that's almost basically a spindle turn is very relaxing because there's no hollowing out. Um, so it's just kind of like a nice change of pace. I'm using the scraping technique with my bowl gouge to try to get this egg as smooth as possible before sanding. I also switched to my negative rake scraper. Trying this Ponet stuff from Wood Cutting Windows claims to be the Mercat killer. Not quite. Mercat is still a far superior product, but considering the price, it's not worth it. I would certainly recommend it for lower grip flavor. Resin eggs take really well to wet the wet sanding method with the micro mesh pads. It's neat to see the moisture evaporate off the egg. I'm parting the egg off with my parting tool. What I really need is a way to securely hold the egg on one side so that I could actually turn the top and bottom. Here's where I'm shaping the top of the egg with my orbital sander. I'm never really happy with the outcome of this method. I use blue tape to protect the finish on the rest of the egg while I do this. I come back with micro mesh pads with some good old hand sanding. And finally, the Bell's buffing system. No egg is complete without this.